Welcome to Lives of the Past. Today we will be talking about the first Duke of Buckingham, George Villiers. Villiers was born in Brooksby, Leicestershire, on August 28, 1592, the son of the minor gentleman Sir George Villiers. His mother Mary, daughter of Anthony Beaumont of Glenfield, Leicestershire. Villiers' mother taught him to learn several things such as dance and fencing. In August 1614, at age 21, Villiers caught the eye of King James I of England. Around the same time opponents of the king's favorite Robert Carr, Earl of Somerset, saw an opportunity to displace Somerset and began promoting Villiers. He was appointed as royal cupbearer, a position that allowed him to make conversation with the king. In 1615 he was knighted as a gentleman of the bedchamber. In 1616, when he became the king's master of the horse, he was elevated to the peerage as Baron Wadon, Viscount Villiers, and made a knight of the garter. The next year he was made Earl and in 1618 promoted Marquess of Buckingham, then finally in 1623 Duke of Buckingham. Until James I died in 1625, Villiers was the king's constant companion and closest advisor, enjoying control of all royal patronage. Villiers used his influence to prodigiously enrich his relatives and advance their social positions. This angered the public and they became even more angry after Congress started taxing them in order to fund Villiers' extravagant adventures. And it did not help that he lost several battles against the Spanish. The Duke was stabbed to death, on August 23, 1628, at the Greyhound Pub in Portsmouth, where he had gone to organize yet another campaign. According to an eyewitness account, he lived just long enough to jump up, shouting villain, and making to chase after his assailant, but then fell down dead. The assassin was John Felton, an army officer who had been wounded in the earlier military adventure and believed he had been passed over for promotion by Villiers. And so that's it for Lives of the Past. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.